This video is going to discuss sculpting and shaping, massaging, and how to prevent filler loss. Three very important issues, okay? Let's talk about sculpting and shaping. After you have the procedure, okay, basically you're going to have a wrap that looks like this, okay? You already know what these, these pieces are or these components. For example, you have your brown stretch gauze, you have your half fold that is up just under the glands, you have your quarter fold and you have your rubber band sitting on the quarter fold and you have your toe pads. This you're familiar with already, okay? The filler already has been placed under the skin and you walk out of the office like this. Okay, now you are instructed to take the bandage off every day or two, or if you feel comfortable leaving it on for three days, you can. Okay, the idea of taking it off every day or every other day is for comfort, because when the bandage is taken off, you can take a shower, clean everything, and it just makes you feel better. Okay, now let's talk about the sculpting. Let's assume for a moment that you're noticing a bulging here let's say some asymmetry, the filler is shifting into this position, and this is a high-risk area for that to occur. There are several techniques I want you to apply to prevent that, okay, or shift that filler into a different location. For example, the first one is finger pressure. You take your thumb and put direct pressure on the area and hold it for 10-15 seconds, okay? And you do this several times a day. No matter what, Several times a day, you're going to be doing your massaging and your sculpting and so forth, okay? But now we're focusing on sculpting techniques. Finger, direct finger pressure is a very good way to move filler out of that area, okay? Now, if let's say there's a more broad area of asymmetry, you could put your finger pressure and roll at the same time. If you see that, finger pressure and roll, finger and roll. Think of it as like wet plaster under there and you're moving it around. Do not be afraid, okay? A lot of patients are afraid to put a lot of pressure. Don't be afraid to put pressure. It's not gonna hurt. It might feel a little more sore later on, but it's necessary. So direct finger pressure, and if you need to, finger pressure with rolling, finger rolling. So when I say do some finger rolling motions, this is what I'm talking about. And that's what you'll do to move that out of the area. Now let's say, for example, the bulging is over here, okay? It doesn't have to always be underneath. The bulging can be on the side of the shaft. You do the same thing, finger pressure with finger rolling, okay? Um, now, let's say you're swelling and you, there's a curvature occurring, okay? That could happen, right? Because swelling causes forces and the extra force might cause a curvature. Another technique is to take your palms and put the penile shaft in between the palm to straighten. So you'll hold it like that for 10, 15 seconds at a time and add that to the protocol. Okay, you may have to put your, finger, your, hand, your palms like this, depending on the angle of shifting or curvature. Okay, so that's sculpting and shaping. Those are the main things. It's finger pressure, finger rolling. You can actually do this type of thing with a finger pressure with a bend if you need to put excessive pressure there to help out with straightening as well, and using your palms to straighten, okay? Now, another technique um, is this. Let's assume for a moment you're about to change your wrap. You take your wrap off. Remember, always leave your, your toe pads with your quarter fold and rubber band. Okay? Now, since we're talking about this at the moment, let me make a couple of points. Number one, you always leave your rubber band and quarter fold on because that prevents filler loss. If you take off that quarter fold and rubber band, the filler could migrate down into the pubic area or the scrotal area. And we do not want to lose filler because once you lose filler, it's gone. So the rubber band and quarter fold, which you wear up to day seven, uh, is only taken off at 10 minute intervals every, let's say a few times a day. So morning, afternoon, evening, even late evening, you could take a 10 minute break taking that element off, but it must go back on. Okay, now let's say you're doing a bandage change, okay? You're taking everything off, always leave your quarter fold and rubber band on. I assume you're gonna take a shower to clean everything or maybe it's time for an Epsom salt bath. You sit in the hot Epsom salt bath for 45 minutes, uh, then rinse off, dry everything. Now, at that stage, 
you could examine everything, even during your shower or during your Epsom salt bath, you can do some finger pressure. You can do finger rolling. You can do a little force and putting a little thumb pressure on like that. You can use your palm pressure, okay? Then, you, I mean, you can do this while it, it is exposed and open. But always remember, barrier is always on, okay? Now when you're done with all that, you say, well, okay, now I want to change the whole wrap. Now you could take the quarter fold and rubber band off. These pads can stay on if they're well glued down. You don't have to always remove these, but let's say they're falling off. So you take them off, you put your toe pads back on, you put your quarter fold and rubber band back on, you put your brown gauze on, you put everything back on, and basically you're going to look like this again. Okay? So after, you're like, after you look like this, you're pretty much done. Okay? And remember, periodically throughout the day, you know to do your finger pressure where there's bulging, finger rolling, right? Any special type of uh, pressure techniques that you need to resolve any asymmetries, using your palms to straighten if necessary. Now there is a special circumstance, if you're not circumcised, that the foreskin could swell and actually bellow out over the glands, where the gland submerges. In that particular case, you are to take some gauze, stretch gauze, and assume, let's assume for a moment the foreskin is bellowing out like this. You are to cover that with high tension, okay, and cover the whole entire swollen area with stretch gauze. And use finger pressure 10 or 15 seconds at a time in several locations to get that fluid out of there. Okay, and eventually I want you to pull the glands out and I want it to look like this again with the half fold underneath like this with the glands visible. Okay, so if you do not have four, I mean, if you're not circumcised and the foreskin bellows out, you use your gauze to wrap tight using finger pressure. Again, you do this several times a day to get the edema or excessive fluid out. Try to get the glands back out and get the half fold underneath. In your situation, the half fold is going to be on with higher tension, but generally it isn't for those who are circumcised, okay? Now, another little technique is this. Now, if we notice, let's assume you're, you're unwrapped and you're in your Epsom salt bath or a shower. Remember, quarter fold and rubber band are on all the time. Now, if you notice, hey, I'm having a hard time getting fluid out of this underside area here, there's another technique where you can take some toe pads and you could place them where the bulge is. Let's assume it's here, it could be here, wherever. You can put a couple of toe pads right on those bulgy areas that are giving us a hard time, right? And then when you wrap, when you take some stretch gauze, right? Let's assume we have some stretch, stretch gauze ready. Now think about it. If you wrap with the toe pads on here, I was just going to demonstrate. Again, you always put mild tension in general, okay? But when you're putting pressure now, the elevation from the toe pads is causing more pressure on the bulge all the time, okay? If you notice, this wrap is on all the time. So in addition to your periodic finger pressure and finger rolling and all the other techniques, these pads are working for us as well. Now, you, you put these pads on when necessary, okay? And, um, you know, if, again, if you're having a hard time, of course, if the bulging is somewhere else, let's say you, you notice bulging on the side here, okay? Put those on first, and then you can put your wrap on. So you know you have constant tension on that area, helping us with symmetry. Let's talk about massaging for a moment. Massaging is different from sculpting. Massaging is this kind of motion. Okay, let's, let's use the regular bandage, because usually you do your massaging with the bandage on. And the massaging is just a random motions with your fingertips on the shaft, just like that. Nothing more, nothing less, okay? The purpose of that is to mix the filler underneath, because sometimes they could settle out. Okay, so you're going to help mix the filler, keep it homogeneous, so when the collagen is produced, it's smooth. Okay, uh, we want it to be as smooth as possible. 
and that's very very important and uh, also you can add a small vibrator in addition and run the vibrator over okay to help the mixing as well okay we'll make suggestions on what vibrator to get all right you can use a vibrator as well in addition to your finger massaging you do that for two minutes okay and do that uh, several times a day and that is very important why to help mix the filler underneath so collagen formation is smooth okay so again sculpting is for major symmetry issues and balancing massaging is for mixing and coll even collagen formation smoothness okay reviewing again preventing filler loss that has to do with constriction we do not want to lose filler so for the first seven days we're going to put the rubber band and quarter fold on then that comes off right and then the ring goes on that's your your barrier from day uh, 7 to 21 okay these have to the ring and straps are on with high tension all the time of course you take 10 minute breaks periodically throughout the day all right a few times a day same thing with the rubber band you take rubber band breaks a few times a day okay now without your barrier you will lose filler okay just remember always leave your barrier on there's only a one circumstance where it's off and it's during your 10 minute break that's it so your 10 minute breaks whether it's your rubber band or eventually your ring you do that three times or four times a day those are your break times Now remember, there's a transition going on, and we're going to talk about sculpting with the transition of when you remove the rubber band and quarter fold and transition into your ring, you'll notice that the whole base section of the penile shaft is without filler. So when you transition to the ring, you have to now do a finger rolling motion down on the filler and the bottom portion of the shaft finger rolling motion down to get it to that voided area because when you remove the rubber band and quarter fold you will notice the shape of the shaft will be like this and then hourglass in like this at the base so to help prevent that type of asymmetry you're going to finger roll down aggressively until you see it balancing now one key tip here some patients form collagen rapidly meaning that by day seven the collagen might be so firm and dense that it will not shift downward. So we need for you to monitor how this actually feels. If it feels like it's hardening up pretty quick and it's by day four, even five, I may have you remove this rubber band and quarter fold, not on day seven, but day four or five, go to your ring and start your finger rolling motions down to get that filler down to that voided area, okay, to prevent the hourglass effect. And that's where we need your input. Okay, so it's very important to communicate with us daily, and you can see why. Okay, we want to make sure you're balanced and you're symmetrical. We want to make sure you're doing your massaging so the collagen formation is smooth. And, uh, you know, to, to communicate with us and let us know how you're feeling, and also send your pictures for visual inspection and evaluation. Very important. Okay, so. For, the, for 21 days, we need to have that communication. Uh, and so we can make sure that you heal optimally and um, you shape properly.